Hey folks, I'm Tennessee Brando for Midas Touch. Christmas has came early and I have the video clip here to prove it to you. I know a lot of you are dreading some of the holiday gatherings you're gonna be having over the next couple of days because we all have members of our extended family who is MAGA. And I know you dread going to those dinners and hearing your crazy conspiracy theory believing cousin spout off all of his rhetoric about Hunter Biden's laptop. And you really dread hearing your crazy Fox News watching uncle uh, tell you how bad things are under Biden and how we just need to give Donald Trump another crack at it. But uh, you might get lucky, and the argument that you might hear this year at the gatherings is, who's right, Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene? That's right, those two are fighting amongst themselves because Marjorie Taylor Greene supports Kevin McCarthy for Speaker of the House, and Lauren Boebert does not. And when Lauren Boebert is asked here uh, what she thinks of Marjorie Taylor Greene's support of Kevin McCarthy, watch how fast Lauren Boebert throws Marjorie Taylor Greene under the bus. This is hilarious. Someone who we all respect, Marjorie Taylor Greene, says Kevin McCarthy is going to be a great speaker. I, I guess you'll have to ask Marjorie about that. I'm, I'm a fan of hers. I'm an admirer, but it's not something we see the same way. Lauren? Uh, well, you know, I, I've been um, aligned with Marjorie and accused of believing a lot of the things that she believes in. I don't believe in this, just like um, I don't believe in Russian space so are, lasers. Are you, a hard, are you a hard no? Space lasers <laughs> okay. and all of this. No, I, I'm just saying we, we need to actually have an inside conversation okay. and, and, and make sure that these promises are there. I love how she says, I get accused of believing in a lot of things that Marjorie Taylor Greene believes in. Actually, we're not accusing you of it. We're just pointing out the obvious. Because every time you open your mouth, you parrot Marjorie Taylor Greene. You stood up beside of her and you heckled Joe Biden during his State of the Union address. Uh, we think that you think a whole lot alike. Uh, you guys, I can't even make a video on either one of them that I don't mention the other one's name. They've kind of became like Laurel and Hardy or Butch and Sundance. Their names are forever intertwined. But then she goes on to poke fun at Marjorie Taylor Greene and the whole uh, Jewish uh, space laser conspiracy, which goes to show that even Lauren Boebert realizes what a ridiculous conspiracy theory that is, and she's willing to use it against uh, Marjorie when she gets the chance. But uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene did tweet and say this. She said, I supported and donated to Lauren Boebert. President Trump has supported and donated to Lauren Boebert. Kevin McCarthy has supported and donated to Lauren Boebert. And she just barely came through with 500 votes. So if she had all this overwhelming support from Marjorie and President Trump and Kevin McCarthy, why did she only win by 500 votes? Uh, this infighting amongst the two is classic and it's funny to watch. Um, you know, I think that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, though, at the end of the day, my money's on her. I think she would eat Lauren Boebert alive. Uh, yeah, Lauren Boebert, you know, is a, is a pretty woman who they can put in a pair of tight pants and dress up like a cowgirl and let her uh, pose with a rifle in her hand and some good old boys in Colorado might vote for her. But uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene has made it clear that she wants the party of Trump, that she does not want anyone that disagrees with her in the least. Uh, so if I was Lauren Boebert, I would watch it because if she tries to turn on Marge, uh, Marge is very serious about what she says and uh, will go after her pretty hard. So uh, when you get to those holiday gatherings and you're surrounded by your extended family and the arguments start coming up and when your crazy conspiracy theory cousin starts spouting off about Hunter Biden's laptop and your uncle starts coming at you with inflation and crime and the border, uh, I would just steer it this way. I'd say, well, did you hear what so-and-so, what Lauren Boebert said about Marjorie? And then just grab a glass of punch and sit back and watch uh, because uh, there will be a whole lot of... Uh, uh, bickering. I can't imagine, you know, uh, we are on the side of reason and logic and common sense and human decency. Um, I can't imagine being over there on that side of the fence. Can you? I mean, to be over there with everything that's happening with Donald Trump and everything that's happening with the, the criminal charges he's facing, his world's collapsing around him, and then you've just got Laurel and Hardy out here just absolutely making a complete fool of your party. Uh, I've said before, this is not the Republican Party of our grandfathers and uh, you know, I used to wish on a shooting star that my grandfathers could come back and see the world today. But uh, when I see this stuff amongst uh, people like this, I'm kind of glad old grandpa ain't around to see it anymore. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a great holiday season, uh, whatever holiday you're celebrating. I hope it's a great one and uh, hope you have a good time with your family. And remember, just steer the argument toward Lauren Boebert and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene if your uh, crazy MAGA family member starts going off the rails. Just steer it in that direction and sit back and watch and videotape it. You know, throw it up on Twitter and uh, maybe Elon will block you. Who knows? But uh, I hope you all have a good one and I hope we have a really good 2023. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button here on Midas Touch. This is one of the fastest growing media news news networks in the country and i'm proud to be a part of it so you guys keep tuning in here on midas touch and old tennessee brando will keep telling you the truth thank you
Our blue wall stopped the red wave and election deniers got denied election. That's why we're celebrating with the new Democracy Prevails team. We've got lots of work to do, but we should all be proud that when democracy was tested, democracy prevailed. You've earned this. Don't wait. Get yours right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.